with uh, Mr. Muddy Paws and we are we're camping what are we doing? camping <laughs> we're going to do a little old versus new uh, John's bought his um, Polish poncho which some people call a lavu and I bought a DD tarp so I thought as soon as he's going teepee I might do the same. I'll see if I can make something out of my tarp that's uh, comparable to uh, what you make out of the poncho and we'll see which one I guess looks better and uh, all that sort of thing. But it's not competition. We're just here to relax. We've got some lovely food to cook later. We've got a trout, we've got a pheasant and I think there might be a steak in John's bag as well. It's about lunchtime now. It took us slightly longer to get here than we thought. Um, we left this morning, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start setting up and maybe sit and eat some lunch as well. I just got cold lunch, and uh, John's John's gonna set up over there. I think I'll probably I think I'll probably go about here. Then we can have a fire in between us and uh, it'll be good. So we walked through a lovely, lovely patch of fir trees that was dark and scary. But we've come out here and they're sort of mostly oak in this bit and it's a lot lighter. So, tarp shelter. I've got to remember how, that's the trouble. I need a centre pole, which I'll cut. That bit there. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. So this is my centre pole, and I've got no protection on the sharp end for the tarp so this is a case for my water bottle just gonna poke that on the end and that will be our that'll be our uh, protection and if I'm lucky I'll be able to hang my candle lantern off of this as well if I'm lucky
go for a different piece of wood. No, I just I'm going to put a pole on the front as well, just to uh, show on. Just, just to open the front up. Yeah, it's a bit droopy otherwise, isn't it? <laughs> There we are. Not the prettiest thing ever, but plenty of room. I need I need to make a bed in there, so I'm going to do that now, and then it's done, and I can forget it. But have a look inside. So there's a centre pole with the. Uh, bottle protection on it and then this end pole which kind of cut a little notch in that just to just to loop it in so I haven't got to tie anything so yeah old versus new I think you know I think the uh, the lavu looks nicer probably is nicer but it's a lot heavier, so pros and cons. And we'll see if mine falls apart in the night. That'll be a test as well. But yeah, I'm gonna make my bed. Is of any use? Background sheet. It's a uh, footprint, oh, footprint for the ground sheet. <coughs> I'm hoping it's big enough for my body. Uh, I freely admit, this is not the best tarp shelter I've ever made. <laughs> After John commenting on it, looking a little bit scruffy. But, whatever. It's a shelter. <laughs> I'm fully enclosed. <laughs> and, uh, and I'll be fine. See? What could be better, eh? I bought a hammock today um, so I could sit in it. That's beautiful, that stretch mm. of trees. They're really pretty. The colours really come out. Mm. When the sun hits it. So it appears we're on a flight path here. So you may hear the occasional plane noise. But uh, other than that, it's very peaceful. Yeah, someone doesn't like my tarp shelter. But I like it. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Just looks like a shopping trolley should be parked next to it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you fold the corners to get that shape? What do you mean? It's a square. You take the back corner, but not the pointy one. Because I've seen the design where you have the centre pole on that one. Mm. I think. You can see the two tie-ups that are just loose. You can attach paracord to them and 
tie them round the back, and that makes it all nice and taut and neat. Oh yeah, that, I think that's what I've seen. But I like the little tunnel entrance. Yeah, I think I've seen. So we've had some lunch. Just going to fill up a pot of water so that uh, we can have a cup of coffee. Probably that way. We've got to uh, find the river, which uh, I believe we know where it is. But we'll we'll check a map as we go. wild garlic on the menu tonight and it does smell keep the vampires away there's loads of it here all of that green that's all garlic Lovely footprints. Yeah, there's there's what looks like a bird with three spread prints, but there's other ones as well. Little little paw prints paw down prints, here. Yeah. They're really cool. a successful trip. Got some garlic and some water. <sighs> garlic tea. <laughs> mm. Did you did you bring chaga? I did. Did you? Yeah. Oh. It's a light fire first. Oh yeah. Right. We gotta get on and do some fire prep and then get a fire lit. So work to be done. Thank <laughs> you. 
can you uh, be ready with some? Just watch out for this old man's beard in. Might need it for the morning. Yeah, that's right, it's still got a lid. Uh, these ones? Yeah. So John's going to make a tripod so we can have our cup of tea and uh, I've got to look for some bits to cook the trout with. Um, yeah, I bought a whole trout with me which I filleted, gutted and filleted last night at home um, and we're going to, what's the word? Panas. Panas. We're going to panas it. We'll try to. Um, so uh, I'm going to find some wood that will suit that and we'll see what we can do about it. So I need to split this some of the way. Ready. I'll just make a point on the end so I can jab it in the ground. These four, I'm just going to strip the bark down.
four four sticks. <coughs> right. right. It's been obviously I've had this with me all day, but I uh, dug a little hole over there and I buried it earlier. So it was sitting in the cool ground and it was in the shade. So it's still nice and cold. That looks lovely. Just gonna get my knife and make some cuts in the skin. Put a stick through. Where's the cut? Through that one. Back out that one. Put another one through that one. That's the next one there. John, you got cleaner hands than me. Yeah. There should be a little bag with salt and pepper in it. Tiny little, tiny little bag in there somewhere. Oh, and a lemon. There it is. See? this in like so and then some of this gardener's type twine Double this up. Is our fish or a, a sail for a Viking sailboat? Amazing. Need to find my rubbish bag somewhere. So. Leave that there. Easy. And that'll it'll partly smoke and partly grill. 
because the wind's blowing the smoke directly onto it. I might just wedge a little stick under there, stop it falling over in case, but other than that, I'm just going to leave it alone. So yeah, the trout is on. John's contribution is uh, pheasant, is that right? Watch out for the buckshot. So we've got a whole pheasant, which I believe he's skinned, and we're going to uh, wrap it in some chicken skin and stuff wild garlic inside it. That was the plan, wasn't it? Yeah. And then um, <coughs> and we've got a couple of other bits, a couple of vegetables and things to have with it, but we'll see as we go. But I'm excited to eat pheasant and trout. Oh, get your knife first. So I used the tip to pierce the. Uh... Yeah, someone's played a bit of cricket. <laughs> Saw that. <laughs> Put them in here. Yeah. Second. Uh, early still, isn't it? Did you say this water's boiled or not? Uh, no, I don't know, I haven't checked it. I was asking you. Uh -huh. Oh my god, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> you have to check these things. Yeah, with your bare hand. Yeah, that's good that's thinking. Good thinking. Look at that. Jesus. Don't know. I would be squealing. That would be. I do it quite often at work. Yeah, I can imagine. Just to check things are hot. <laughs> this oven on. If my fingers go, ah, then, uh, then it means yes, they're done. Um, that's our onion. Jeez. <clears throat> I think we should wrap it in foil. I brought those foil. Are you wrapping it in foil, or are you...? Um, I might do to set the skin. Yeah, so I just say it might just all fall off, isn't it? Yeah. You've got that bit of foil that it's on. Yeah. Just to adhere the skin to it and then we can take it off. And... Oh, this is rosemary and garlic as well, the seasoning. Garlic crazy. Oh, it smells nice, sir. Should I just whack it all in? Yeah. I don't think that water's well yet. Maybe a bit high up. Lift uh, up. Do you like it, Herbie? <laughs> That's hurriedly. <laughs> it's quite a lot, isn't it? A liberal. Uh, Dowsing. So if we roast it like that to start with and we finish it on the stick. Mm. So you can put it on top of the wood. What do you reckon? You know me and uh, <laughs> indirect heat. <laughs> We're best friends. Yeah, I mean, if you put these on here, that's not going to go for a little while, is it? You know what I mean? You yeah, sit it there. Sit it in there. And when this starts to all catch, maybe. We not just. Now. We can just hire it up and do it again. Yeah. And that will clean itself off so I can take this off now, can't I? Yeah. That's pretty exciting.
So dinner's properly on now. It's about quarter past six. The uh, trout's been going for half hour or so. The, uh, the pheasant's now on a stick. We put it on the wood just to try and seal that skin in. So we there, wrapped it in foil and, and just laid it on top of the fire with some fresh wood on there for it to balance on. And we give that sort of 10 minutes each side, try and seal the skin. And um, now it's been pierced and is on a stick. We've got a sweet potato wrapped in foil that's in the coals. And over there, got a couple of red peppers and the, the biggest onion I've seen in a while um, and they're gonna go in the coals and that's dinner fish bird vegetables and potatoes but yeah I built myself a little bench John's built himself one so we can sit up off the ground um, Nice and nice and simple, really. And uh, now we're settled in. No more work to do other than keep up with the firewood. So I just chopped some a couple of minutes ago. And um, other than that, we we're, we're just waiting for food. So we're nearly there with food. Just turn the trout. We've got red peppers cooking in the coals, blackening off. I think the onion is done, this feels quite soft. The sweet potato is getting soft. Not sure about the pheasant. I think we're going to eat everything else first. And by the time we've done all that, it'll be uh, pheasant will be the second course. And we put some, uh, John had some chaga, so we put some of that on to boil. Well, not boil, but just we boiled the water and it's just uh, steeping in it, just on the edge of the fire. We're going to leave it for a few hours and maybe drink it later. If not, we'll drink it in the morning. So I'll be interested to see what that tastes like. But, um, but yeah, cooking is going well. fish. Yum. Oh yeah. Half each. <clears throat> Alright, got some herbs. Just got a mixture of dill, coriander and parsley. Oh, got some cherry tomato things. Look at it. It looks nice, doesn't it? Mm. 
This is proper nice, isn't it? Mm. That is without doubt the best trout I've ever had. Mm. The onion's good. Oh yeah. I haven't had any vegetables. Mm. It's sweet, isn't it? Mm. Look at that. <coughs> Sweet potatoes, creamy. Comes out like ice cream. Mmm. Mm. I love that sweet potato. Mm. Yeah, so I didn't bring a plate because <coughs> I haven't got a very good memory. Because you don't need one. But as it happens, I don't need one. Oh, okay. It's hard to know where to go first. But the trout was delicious. And now the pheasant is nearly there, but I think we've eaten, we've eaten plenty for now. So some pheasant before bed will be uh, gorgeous. Yeah, it's going good, it's going good. We're going to chop a bit more wood up in a minute and, uh, and then just kick back and drink some beers. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll come back when the pheasant's ready, I think. Got a bit of pheasant breast. We've had the legs. Mmm. Garlic and rosemary. Mm. It's pretty tender. Very nice. And it's kind of got a smoky flavour to it because it's it's been sitting. What is that? Two or three hours mm. over the fire. But it's tender. It's quite moist because of the. Uh, Chicken skin. Speaking of which, there it is. Mm. <laughs> you right. <laughs> you just sounded like Alan Partridge. <laughs> <laughs> Stop eating for a minute. <coughs> uh, John's done nothing but bully me all day. <laughs> I wish Rob was here. <laughs> mm. 
Well, yeah. We've eaten well. Mm. Living like kings. Living like kings of the shanty town. <laughs> I've got merino wool, fetching long johns. That's all I need. God. Yeah, I said the other day that uh, having this as a pillow is is pretty good, but I neglected to say that I. Uh, I can't get out my shirt. I neglected to say that I um, stuffed my shirt inside of this dry bag. See so I've got a shirt dry for the morning. And then I get this hooded top. Wrap it inside out around around that. And it's like having a proper pillow. Steam coming off my socks. <sighs> That's it. I'm in. Yeah, it's been a good night. Food was awesome. Going down finding the river was good fun. Good company. But yeah, that's it for me for tonight. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some kip and uh, see you bright and breezy in the morning.
Oh, good morning. Slept like a baby. Yeah, really good, really comfy last night. I said to John, I, uh, I did wake up once in the night and I thought I was at home until I rolled over and realised I was in a sleeping bag. But, uh, yeah, we're going to get breakfast on. Steak and eggs, by all accounts. But uh, I'm just going to get fire going. We've got an abundance of little dead bits of these fir trees, which makes preparing a fire so easy. Just got to collect a handful. You know, the higher part in the canopy is all green. I guess the lower part dies off because it's not getting any light because it's so dark in this bit of the forest. Just snap them off. Da da da. Da da da. Da da da. What's that called? Crumble. Crumble. King Alfred. King Alfred Cakes. Yeah. Daldinia Concentrica. That's the one. I was oh, about to one. say that. <laughs> Come here. In. That twine's on fire. That's it. God, it's engulfed in flames. So we were going to use the chaga water to make uh, coffee, but we, uh, where we brewed it last night, sat by the fire all evening while we were drinking beer and talking and uh, it reduced down to not a lot so we've got we've got a cup of very strong chaga tea instead and then we'll make coffee after but I uh, wanted to try this and so I was kind of pleased that it's on its own what is chaga? chaga is is it a fungus or is it just a yeah, growth? It's, yeah and it's meant to have redeeming health properties. This doesn't taste of a lot, does it? It's got a it's got a taste, but yeah. I can't place it. 
difficult to know because we boiled it on here. Yeah. How much of that <clears throat> kind of smoky smoothness? Yeah. It's all right though. Yeah, it's not unpleasant. I just normally, if I drink it at home, I normally just bung it in with some coffee. Yeah. Yeah, I can't, can't quite place. It reminds me of something. Oh, that's it, river water. <laughs> no, it, it reminds me of something. I don't know what. Mm, I'm getting um, ditch and uh, ash. Yeah. <clears throat> it reminds me of something my dad would drink. Because he's... He's a healthy man. Season this path. Look at that. Breakfast of champions. Thank you very much, John. Let's see how much of this I get all, out, all over myself.
different to porridge. It's a bit salty. Mm. Well, breakfast was glorious, and we're just about done, I think. I'm just going to pack up, put the fire out, return the woodland to its natural state, and then we're going to march out. I don't think I need lunch now. <coughs> it's nearly lunchtime now. That steak was monstrous. That's good. So I'd just like to say thank you to John for coming. And uh, cooking me breakfast and uh, being inspired company. You're very welcome. Thank you for inviting me. No worries. But, uh, yeah, check out the Muddy Paws channel. You might like it. He has a slightly different filming style to me. <laughs> In that I don't film. <laughs> a lot less talking. Yeah. A little bit more quiet contemplation. Yeah. Misty eyed looking in the distance. <laughs> but yeah, check out Muddy Paws. Um, he'll, have a, he'll have a version of this trip <coughs> which will be uh, vastly different to mine, I'm sure. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good day. <laughs>